What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Thank you for watching. Today we have another video with the almighty 72 caliber Zeus, or as I like to call it, the world's most powerful air gun. Before we get started, once again, I want to thank thepelletshop.com for sending this beast out. As always, I appreciate the support. If you're looking for anything air gun related, they probably have it, so go check them out. So like I said, the Zeus is a 72 caliber air rifle. I'll go ahead and give you guys a close-up look at one of the projectiles. It's basically the diameter of a shotgun slug, and it is capable of producing up to 1,500 foot-pounds of energy. Just to put that into perspective, the Zeus has been known to take very large game, like bear, bison, etc., which is crazy for an air rifle. And believe it or not, we actually have projectiles that are twice this size. Now, this will probably be the last air gun video that we do for a little bit. This is a firearms channel, not an air gun channel. But when I first tried the Zeus, I immediately fell in love and was blown away by the power of this thing. It is every bit as powerful as a real gun. So I knew I had to make this video before we put it in the vault. Let's get to it. Now in the last video, we shot a ballistic dummy head with this air rifle and reading through the comments, I saw pretty much exactly what I expected. Tons of people telling me to shoot a torso. So today, that's exactly what we've got. A Ballistic Dummy Lab Human Torso. I'm sure you're all familiar with these by now. We've been using them for years and they're all over the internet at this point. It's just the coolest thing you could ever possibly shoot. As far as testing ballistics, it doesn't get much better than this. And we actually went with a full upper body this time. I usually just get the torso from the neck down. This time I added the head. So it's basically a ballistics gel dummy with all the organs you would find in a real human body. Lungs, heart, stomach, liver, spleen, intestines, surrounded by a rib cage. And then on the back, we've got spine, shoulder blades, ribs, and of course on this one, we also have a neck and head. So we have shot these with pretty much every caliber you could think of. What I have not done is an air gun. And what better way to start on a human torso than with the world's most powerful air rifle? Let's do it. All right, before we start shooting the torso, I wanna give y'all an idea of just how powerful this thing actually is. And instead of shooting targets again that we've already shot, I'll quickly just run some clips from our last couple videos. <laughs> I think that worked. Pretty crazy for an air gun, right? All right, let's get on this torso. We have a few different projectiles and a lot of good spots to hit on this guy. And instead of working our way up to the most powerful projectile, we'll just go ahead and start with the big one, the 1,082 grain hollow point. I don't know about you guys, but this is definitely the biggest air gun projectile I've ever seen. So. Operation remove ballistic dummy head with one shot. Three, two, one. Well, unfortunately, I just barely grazed the top of the head. I think I overestimated the holdover required at that distance. But even though that projectile hit the top of the head, it still blew a giant crater out of the back of this thing. We gotta do that one again. Operation remove ballistic dummy head, attempt number two. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Hey guys, before we go any further, I want to take just a minute to thank Core Essentials for sponsoring today's video. I have been wearing these belts for several months now. It's the only belt I ever wear at this point, and we're starting to get 
quite the collection going here. We have the leather belt, which is really good for dress clothes and stuff like that. The EDC belt, which is definitely the one that I wear the most. And today we have the world's first micro adjustable battle belt. Now the battle belt, which is the one we're talking about today, might just be the coolest one that I've had so far. So this is 1.75 inches wide and it's reinforced with their power core, which is virtually indestructible. It's stronger than steel, Thousands of these things sold over the last couple years and they've never had even one break. So it's definitely tough enough for pretty much any job. Once again, it uses the same ratchet system as their other belts. So you can adjust this thing in quarter inches and it has molly webbing all the way around it, just about every inch it looks like. So you can put holsters, med kits, drop bags, any gear you can think of on this belt. The outer nylon webbing and molly on the battle belt is rated to 500 pounds. It's water and sweat resistant, extremely durable, but comfortable enough to wear all day. The buckle is zinc alloy and black powder coated. And although it may look different and bigger than the EDC buckle, the mechanism works exactly the same and it is rock solid. That's the Core Essentials battle belt, the best fitting, most comfortable battle belt you will ever wear. Be sure to check out the link in the description box below and use the code OneShotTV10 for 10% off. And thank you Core Essentials for sponsoring today's video. Well, this is what I wanted to happen on the first one. We got a perfect shot, literally right between the eyes. I could have swore in the last video there was a holdover at close range with this rifle, but today, it's apparently hitting dead on. And obviously that projectile just yeeted all the contents of that head completely out. It is totally empty at this point. On the ground, we've got some ballistics gel, bone fragments all over the place. And the majority of the head is right here, about seven yards behind the torso. I don't think he survived it. Well, the head just completely came off. And by the way, we did shoot a ballistic dummy head in the last video. So if you wanna see what that looks like, go check it out. But now let's try to hit some vitals. For this one, we are gonna step it down to the 650 grain hollow point. Still an absolute monster. And I think I'm gonna to try to put this one right through that left lung. First shot to the torso, let's see what it does. And by the way, I want to give a shout out to Mr. Hollow Point for the ammo. Without him, we would not have these crazy, unique projectiles. He has a website and a YouTube channel. Go check him out if you need some air gun ammo. Okay, that one went in right there towards the bottom of the lung. And I really hope that you guys can see the amount of damage that this did because it is absolutely ridiculous. First of all, it broke pretty much every rib all the way down. And it looks like that bullet pretty much immediately started expanding because all the way down here, I can see damage to the ballistics shell right behind the rib cage. Hopefully you guys can see it. And then if we go around to the back, there are several exit holes. I see one, two, three at least. So it looks like that bullet probably broke apart and came out the back in multiple pieces. We also have a couple broken ribs in the back and that went straight through. Next up, we have the 525 grain hollow point. This is a lighter weight bullet, so it's gonna be going faster and probably not get as much penetration. I'm just gonna try to put this one right up the middle. <laughs> that recoil is crazy. And that one hit right there at the bottom of the sternum. All these projectiles have different points of impact, probably because the weights are so drastically different. But that one did go a little bit lower than I wanted it to. Either way, just completely shattered the sternum and all the ribs that were around it. We definitely have some internal bleeding going on. And on the back, <laughs> First of all, it looks like the spine is broken in half and we have a much bigger exit hole than we did before. Some broken ribs, definitely on the back as well. And it looks like 
most of that one, if not all of it, did pass all the way through. All right, I moved up a little bit. I don't feel like it's necessary for me to be so far away. And I'm going back to the 1,082 grain hollow point at much closer range. I'm gonna try that left lung again and see if I can get it a little higher up. Well, I know for a fact that one went all the way through because I heard it go through the torso, bounce off the railroad tie wall, and then roll back just a few feet away from me. And there is our entrance hole right there. And you guys, look at the damage that it did to that lung. I really hope y'all can see it. That entire thing is caved in probably six inches. The ribs are just completely broken off. And back here, <laughs> yeah, it went through. So clearly shattered the right shoulder blade on the back and just blew a giant exit hole out the back of this thing. And the ballistics gel is splitting. There goes the entire right arm. <laughs> but now we can actually see some of the internal damage. It looks like every single rib is completely broken in half and the wound cavity going through that lung is humongous. I would say that is every bit as lethal as a real shotgun slug. And right here on the ground is our 1,082 grain projectile that went all the way through the torso. Look at how big that thing expanded. That's crazy. In the comments to the last video, there was a guy and he could have been trolling, but he kept saying that this was a weak little BB gun that would not do any damage to a torso. There's your proof. All right, we have to shoot at least one of the 440 grain hollow points. This is the smallest and lightest weight projectile we have, as crazy as that sounds, but that also means it's probably going the fastest. I'm gonna try to put this one on the right lung. Down it goes. Nothing like almost taking a bone fragment to the face to wake you up. Holy shit. Well, I've got to say, out of all the bullets we've shot, the smallest one has to be the most impressive. It could have just been shot placement, but I assume the velocity probably played a small part as well. Here's the damage. <laughs> just completely exploded that thing. And that's why I always wait till the end to shoot the right side of the torsos because the PVC pipe that holds it up is going through the right side. And I don't think I've ever seen this result before. So I'm not sure if that was a bone fragment or a piece of the PVC pipe that came flying past my head at 100 miles an hour, but either way, that was awesome. Well, the only thing that's still intact are the intestines, so we might as well put a bullet through them. For this one, we're gonna use the 525 grain hollow point. And after that last one, I did step back a little bit. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try to put it on the intestines, but to the left of the PVC pipe, so not an easy shot. <laughs> Looks like a good one to me. Let's go check it out. This thing is so powerful, it's almost easy to forget that it's an air rifle. The bullet impacts, the slow motion, the amount of damage that we're seeing on the torso is just absolutely incredible. The bullet impact on that one is right there, pretty much dead center, and there's not much left to look at, honestly. I do think it grazed that metal pipe because there's a little dent and the PVC pipe kind of broke some more, but we also have an exit hole 
on the back side of the intestines. Well, on that note, I think we've gotten just about as much use as you could possibly get out of one of these torsos, and the air gun definitely proved itself today. Wow. All right, guys, that's going to do it for the Zeus 72 caliber air rifle versus a human torso. Obviously, this is not like a 50 BMG or an elephant gun or nothing like that. A lot of us shoot these torsos with the biggest, craziest guns we can find, and they just explode them. This is not that. I would say it's on par with probably a really good shotgun slug. Now, there's a million reasons why you would not want to use an air gun like this for self-defense. It's a single shot. It runs out of air after one or two rounds. The list goes on. But as far as just pure power and foot-pounds of energy on target, this is definitely powerful enough. And I would say probably even a little more powerful than what most people would want. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know down in the comments below. As always, hit the like button for me, guys. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.